Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we'll be taking a look here at our Hollywood Racks destination 4 bike platform rack on our 2019 Volvo XC60. So the destination rack is a great option for when you want to carry a multiple number or many many bikes. So let's say you have your family, your friends all inside of your car. You already got a good amount of space for you and your family but not your bikes. This is where this rack comes into handy. So we'll take a look at how this works, especially with our vehicle and see if it's the right fit for you and your situation. So first off, we have our bike mounted to it right now. We have one, two wheel straps. So the front and the rear, those straps are holding it down. And then you also have this frame mount. So that frame mount is unique in its design. Compared to traditional hooks that come down and hold it by the frame, this has a 360 degree of rotation. So depending on your bike's frame and size, you can move this up, down, left, right, as well as around to accommodate those different shapes and sizes. But when you wanna take your bike off, you start at the wheel straps. So press that lever and just pull that strap up and out. And I try to leave it down to the side as much as I can get it. That way it's not tangled up in my spokes. So press that lever, lift up, and bring that to this side. Now we're gonna go over here to our bike. Make sure to support your bike as you do so. Since your mounting point is down here towards the bottom of the frame, this may be difficult. So you're gonna have to figure out the best fit for you and your bicycles. So hold on to that bike, press that lever, pull that strap out. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go over here to the front of our bike. That way our handlebars don't swing out towards our vehicle as I tilt it away and then lift it over our mast just like that. So I'm gonna set this over to the side so that we can take a closer look here at our bike rack. So notice how close our handlebars did come to our car. That's something to keep in mind if you do have your longer handlebars like what I have here, but make sure that it is strapped down properly. Okay, so we have these cradles and here at e-trailer we started calling them the wings because of how they're designed. You can see how we have a cradle that goes downwards to accommodate different wheelbases. You also have these straps that go in and they just tighten down around that wheel. You also have that nice little rubber cushion on top. Just make sure to center it over your wheel. That way your wheel doesn't get scuffed up during transport, but also it's gonna provide a little bit of extra grip during transport. You also have this mast. So if you do want to access your hatch, you will have to take your bikes off as well as lower this mast. And to do so, notice how we have our cradles. We're going to go move those cradles out of the way. Then we're going to loosen this knob. So just loosen it just enough so that you can lift this stand out and then tighten it back down. That way you can still lower the mast right there so we're just gonna lower this mast down some people use the straps on the main cradles to keep this in place i actually prefer to use these straps for the the wheels so instead of the frame mounts we're going to use the wheel strap this is going to go right down there and secure just like that okay so this has a weight capacity of about 35 pounds per bike. So if you do have your heavier electric bikes, this may not be the best fit for you. But most of your bikes here, especially our bikes here at eTrailer, they're usually below that 35 pound weight limit. So with that mass down, you can see that we can now open up our trunk or our hatch, get into our trunk, get whatever we need, whether it's our bags, our helmets, our waters. So you do have to take the bike off. This is not tilt away with your bicycles on. So just keep that in mind. If you do want a tilt away feature, maybe the Kuat Transfer 4 bike version would be better for you. Okay, so with that folded down, you can notice that this does add a significant amount of length to the back of our car. So we're gonna take some measurements right over here. We're gonna measure from our bumper 
to the end of the bike rack, which is by that reflector, it sits at 40 inches of length added. So that's a fair amount of length for a four bike platform rack. So whenever you're backing into your garage or trying to park into a tight spot, don't forget that you have a bike rack as well as some bikes behind you. We'll also take a look at ground clearance. So at the center of the bike rack, it sits, or center of the end, where those reflectors are, it sits at 22 and a quarter inches of ground clearance. At the end of the wings, we have it at 17 and three quarter inches. Then right where that shank is, where that hitch receiver is, it's 11 and a quarter inches. So ground clearance is gonna be very important whenever you go up steep inclines, like your driveways and hills. This hitch receiver sits a bit lower to the ground. We do have 11 and a quarter inches. So it is nice to see how we have a shank rise because as you go up those steep inclines, your front's gonna go up, your back is gonna go down. So you want as much ground clearance as you can get so that your bike stay off of the ground. Okay, we'll take a look at another feature, which is that this can fold up to be a bit more portable. To do so, there's this pin and clip right here. You're gonna pull out that clip and then rotate this knob to release that bolt. You can just let that swing right there since it does have a strap. Then you just fold this up right there and then make sure it's lined up with that hole and put that knob right back in and tighten it down. I do like how this uses a knob and a threaded bolt because then compared to a pin, it doesn't move around pretty much at all. Okay, once that bolt is tightened down, don't forget to put the clip back in just because that's gonna be your extra security measure to keep that bolt secured. Okay, with it folded up, let's take some measurements again. We're gonna measure from our bumper and right where the end of the wings is, that's kind of aligned with the mast. The mast will be the furthest point and that sits at about 13 inches away from our bumper. Big difference compared to when this was folded down. You'll want it in the portable position if you wanna store the rack itself in your garage or if you are just planning on going around town, you're not bringing your bikes out just yet, but you don't wanna take your bike rack off. Your closest point is going to be well, let's see over here by our front wheel, or sorry, our mast. And that's about four inches of clearance from here to your bumper. So plenty of space over there. No worries at all about this actually making contact with your vehicle. With it folded up though, let's take a look at how it looks behind our car. So we have our rear window that's completely visible. Our taillights, you can see those as well. The inner taillights, though, not as much, but those in the dark, you'll definitely be able to see them. Now notice how our backup camera is off center towards the right and is aligned with that mast on our destination bike rack. It also kind of covers the license plate. You'll still be able to see a bit out of your rear window and your backup camera, but this will definitely be in the way. So if you are super duper concerned and you want full visibility, you can always just put this bike rack down if you would value visibility over portability. All right, let's talk about how this fits into our hitch. So this has a two inch shank and it comes with an anti-rattle bolt and a lock. Now this, the way this works is that you would have to use a cable lock that goes around your bikes and then stores into your um, hitch pin. That's kind of how Hollywood Racks does it for their locking features. Now as for the tool, this comes included with your bike rack, your wrench to tighten it down, but I personally recommend doing what I do, which is I use a socket wrench with a three quarter inch socket to tighten this down. So much easier and so much faster that way. But let's do a quick shake test because with that anti rattle bolt tightened down, you can see as I shake our bike rack, I'm mainly shaking the vehicle. If you do feel some movement, this might be because this bolt is not tightened down enough. And that's just for this spot. But other than that, you can see that that connection there is tight and secure, making for a smoother ride for your bikes overall. 
Okay, so my final thoughts about this bike rack is this definitely gives a great way to carry around many bikes. I always recommend getting a platform rack over a hanging rack just because I don't like how hanging racks cause your bikes to sway into each other. Here you get the stability of a platform rack as well as the security of a platform rack at an affordable price with the Hollywood Racks destination. Now, to offset that, it is a little, or to offset its affordability, you cannot tilt this away and it doesn't have integrated cable locks. If you are interested in those features, please check out our Cluat Transfer 4 bike rack, which has all those plus it can tilt away. But all in all, this is a great bike rack, works really well with, here with our vehicle, and this was a look at our Hollywood Racks Destination 4 bike rack on our 2019 Volvo XC60. Now we're going to go ahead and take it on our test course. First we'll start with the slaloms. This is going to show the side to side action. It's kind of going to mimic the movements that you'll see whenever you're driving down the road normally. Now we'll have the alternating speed bumps. This is going to be more so like the uneven roads and some of that uneven terrain you might be traveling on and see how it holds up. 